everyone, welcome back to 3D CAD Masters. Today we are going to build and code a crystal ball through the use of an online program which works with Arduino Uno. Now, the circuit isn't overly complex, but there are a lot of wires that can get mixed up and entangled with each other, especially if you are using a tangible kit. So, pay attention when wiring everything up so that it's nice, neat, and correct. Connect the power and ground to one side of the breadboard using a red wire for power and a black wire for the ground. The color really doesn't matter from here on out. It's just going to be a way to organize and distinguish everything. Let's place a tilt switch on the breadboard. Attach one lead to the power with the red wire and the other lead to the ground through a 10 kilo ohm resistor and to your Arduino's pin 6. The tilt switch is going to look slightly different virtually and in person. The one in person is a lot more narrow, so you have seemingly more room on your breadboard. Allow me to quickly explain the connections from the LCD screen as I'm setting our board up. The RS pin, the resistor select pin, controls where the characters will appear on the screen. The read write pin puts the screen in read or write mode. We will be using the write mode for this specific project. The enable connection, the EN pin, tells the LCD that it will be receiving a command. The data pins D0 through D7 are used to send character data to the screen. We will only be using D4 through D7 today. Using the potentiometer, we will be able to adjust the contrast of the display. I'm now preparing for the connection with our potentiometer, as well as attaching the LCD screen to the power and ground through red and black wires. The potentiometer will come in later during this video. I just want to make sure that I don't skip any pins or that I unnecessarily use a pin that's not supposed to be where it is. Like I said earlier, virtually, this kit is going to be a little distorted, so you will have to move around the resistor and the two wires from earlier. It's no biggie, it'll do the same job, it's just in a different position. You may have to do this in a couple of your projects, so you might even be an expert at it by now. Now that the green wire is prepared for a connection with the potentiometer later in this video, we can now move on and connect the enable connection to pin 11 on your Arduino. Then connect the resistor select pin to pin 12, which enables writing to the LCD. Now you want to connect the Arduino digital pin 2 to LCD D7, digital pin 3 to LCD D6, digital pin 4 to LCD D5, and digital pin 5 to LCD D4. This will tell the screen what characters to display. Go ahead and pause the video at the end just to see if your connection matches mine. I highly suggest following the instructions in the red box instead of following the wires. Even though they are color coordinated, they do get confusing. Now 
Now let's go ahead and place the potentiometer on the breadboard, connecting one end pin to power and the other to ground. The center pin will connect to the VO on the LCB through the green wire that we've already placed there prior to connecting the rest of the entangling wires. This will allow you to adjust the contrast of the screen. To learn more about the coding aspects of this project, go to 3dcadmasters.com and sign up for a free trial. Join Mr. Tanley as he demonstrates the ins and outs of basic and advanced coding. Now let's move on how to use this baby. To use the magic ball, power the Arduino by clicking Start Simulation. Check the screen to make sure it says Ask the Crystal Ball. If you can't see it, turn the potentiometer to adjust the contrast of the screen. Ask a question to the magic ball and toggle the tilt switch up and down. You should get an answer to your question. Should we move on? Most likely. Are y'all going to subscribe? Most likely. Certainly. Let's go ahead and move on. Now let's try it with another example. How about a color selector? I've inputted a selection of colors into the code. Let's see what we get. The random color selector says that our color is purple. Now it's red. And now it's orange. See how much fun coding can be? Well, anyways, thanks for joining us. And be sure to share the video, like and comment, and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.